Good evening. I bow down. I have my black tie because I keep to bow down. To bow down. Bowing down is an act of love. It means to bring the head under the heart. It's an act of love, of respect, and reverence. And I bow down today in front of you. Uh, I bow down to physics so that we may understand it. Understand. It means literally standing under, under truth. Understand that nature is huge, miraculous, that miracles are phenomena of nature. So today, I'm going to share with you questions that I have gathered over the years. Science is born from questions. We come to the earth, everybody said this to me, we come to the earth full of questions. I work with little kids in kindergarten and adults, and when there is more innocence, there are more questions. We want to know how things work, how a lamp turns on. And these questions, we bring them to schools. And in the schools, we're not allowed to go deep into those questions. They tell us to listen and answer the questions that we ask. So I gathered all these questions over the years. And here I come to make a question and an experiment. So that that question mark can become an exclamation mark. Wow. That is the path of physics, from questions to wonder, from curiosity to spirituality. Curiosity is mother of science, <coughs> and wonder is the father of spirituality. That is the path to join science with spirituality. It is obvious that this is not happening at schools. That is obvious. But don't think that everything is lost. I am very optimistic. Questions that my students ask. The students that are now here present six years ago when we started our relationship, they had these questions. I told them, if there are no questions, there is no way I can, I can start teaching you science. So as these questions rose, we started looking together how to transform them into one. Who am I? Where do we come from? I wonder... How many of you here, now present, loved physics when you were in high school? How many of you? How many of you enjoyed physics at school? <laughs> no, 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 no. Those students there don't come. Three or four. Yeah, very few. No, no, no. Students, no. My students, no. So we come here full of questions, and as we grow up, there are two possibilities. Either we forget them, or, <clears throat> even worse, we let them ferment, and fermented questions become violent. Behind every culprit in every crime, there is an unresponded question. So the purpose of this talk is to make an experiment. There are two things we need in physics. One, the questions, and we have them here. And the other one is to do some experiments. I want to do an experiment with you. A very simple experiment. You don't have to dance. This is very easy. We are going to explain physics with a minimum effort. 
20 years ago, I had a moment, a wow moment in my life. Before that, I used to teach maths. It was fun, it was okay, maths, but physics meant so much to me. So I was meditating and a conceptual map came to my head. The most difficult part of physics is to understand the mathematical equations. We can't remember that. So in this experiment, we're going to meditate. But before that, we need to understand how physics works. Physics is built upon principles that we do not question, principles that we understand as true, like the fact that truth is absolute. That's called the principle of relativity. Or the fact that logic is not enough to understand physics, principle of uncertainty. It's beyond our reason, it's beyond our head. There are more principles, inertia, etc. Not too many, eh? and we can count them with our hands. But to make this lesson here purposeful, let us agree in some words. There are principles, there are theories, there are laws. And this is how we explain how things happen. Even ourselves, we are an open system. We are exchanging energy with the universe. And we transform that energy in work. We have five senses to perceive this energy. Easy to understand that eyes, to see, light, smell. It's the doors to the energy that comes into our body-mind. There are systems of action. I can move, I can talk, I can think. We can use our hands, we can write. We use that energy with a purpose, and that is our actions. And in all this system, there is an efficiency. That's a simple idea. So I would like to share with you this first matrix that came to my head, into my heart. And this has been my approach to teaching over these years, and is now taking me out to different countries in the world. So, we're going to complete this matrix while we meditate. It's a conceptual map, and we'll meditate only for five minutes. That's all. Give me five minutes, and that's all. So, we're going to close our eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Your eyes closed. Don't, don't open your eyes. You won't see much. Just people with closed eyes. Just follow the instructions lightly and become aware of your body. <clears throat> become aware of your bones. Become aware of the earth element in our bodies. A body is made up of atoms that were part of the Earth 5,600 million years ago. Become aware of the weight of your body and let the chair hold the weight of your body. The, the, the Earth is carrying your weight. Inhale. Exhale. In one hour, the Earth has moved 100,000 kilometers around the sun. Let the earth carry your weight around the sun. Become aware of the system in the body that allows us to move the bones, the muscles. Relax your muscles. Your feet are touching the earth. And become aware of the air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale through the nostril. Fill your lungs with air and exhale. We are at the bottom of an ocean of air. We are in the sky. The air around us enters our body. 
just become aware of how the respiratory system is working, how the atmosphere is providing the air. Inhale. With a smile, exhale. Take your attention to your hands. Relax your hands. Our hands are fluid like water. Open your palms. Become aware of the water element in your body. How the blood is moving through the body, through the circulatory system. Become aware of the water around us, the ocean around us. Inhale. Exhale. We are just a link in the water cycle. The water that is in my body is there for a short time and then goes back to nature. Become aware of the heat. Feel the temperature inside your body. Our body has a very precise system to regulate the temperature. Become aware how food becomes heat, the digestive system in the body, genitals, the solar system in the body. There is heat in the microcosmos and in the microcosmos, around us and inside us. Inhale, and with a smile, exhale. Become aware of your brain, your thoughts, how the words that reach your ears become electromagnetic waves into your brain. There is a web of neurons connecting the brain with the body. There are more neurons in one brain than stars in one galaxy. Become aware of the space inside the body. Every atom in the body is empty space. 99.9% .9 of the atom is empty space. 99.9% .9 of the universe is empty space. We are bubbles of space and that inhale. And exhale, relax more and more. Become aware of the space in between the atoms and the space in between the stars. Same space. We are one with that space. Except all the sounds. Become aware of the environment in this room. The love we have presence here today. Gently, when you feel ready, you move your fingers, move your toes without any effort. When you feel ready, you may open your eyes. Las palabras que the words que dije, that I just used are all in that matrix, posición. but they're not Esas in any position. Como un they are like a puzzle. Posición. There is a position for each word. Y and they make los, sense. Los que no saben leer ni escribir pueden entenderlas. Even those who can't read and write, if I tell them they can understand it, and this is what physics is about. In this table, in this matrix, there is only one, one row missing, which is the row that explains how physics works. So what is physics about? There are five fields in physics. Mechanics, connecting us to the Earth element, Newton's laws, 
what explains the fall of apples and the movement of the plants. This is all connected to the earth element. The gases, the study of gases, gas laws connected to the air element. Hydraulics, it's a field of physics connecting with water, heat, with fire, and everything that has to do with phenomena that travel through space, electromagnetic waves, electricity and magnetism. The chance of us today, just by touching any cell phone, we can immediately connect, I don't know, with my mother on the other side of the world and say, look, mommy, I am here in Ted. This is wonderful. And this has to do with space. We are all connected in that space, in that space, especially here in TED. So these are all the topics that go into a book of physics, astrophysics, nuclear physics, all goes in space. To understand physics is just to understand where to put the right words. It's to fill in this matrix. I like to, I like to put the matrix in front of the board and, and ask the students, you have to say the right equation or the right word whether, where I hit the bullets. Complete the matrix. That is what I do in my lessons. So in this way, we are understanding physics holistically and it has more meaning. I used to suffer a lot at school and in college because physics was always disconnected. We were taught not with the head and the heart. We were taught only with the head and we could not put the words together in conceptual maps. So this is what I want to share with you today. I want us to be able to bring that wonder, that freshness in our eyes, the ones that our students, my students had in those pictures, that curiosity that allows us to feel that we are being protected, that there are laws, there is order, that life is not inside our bodies. Life is all around us, like the life of a fish is not inside the fish, it's in the ocean. Our life is in the elements of nature. And I think that the theory of everything is a reverence towards nature, to feel that there is something bigger than us that is the path of physics, the path of wonder. Joy does not last without wisdom. So I want to bow down to that joy, to that wisdom. Physis is a Greek word. Physis means literally fluid. To the Greek culture, physis is the fluid that connects us to nature. And we can call this fluid love. Even before the Greeks, this knowledge was written in the Vedic science, the Vedic tradition in India. To that Vedic wisdom, to the knowledge of yoga, to that wisdom that allows joy to last, I want to bow down today. Thank you.